welcome to this series of painting small chickadees in pastel. While I block in some of the darkest values first on this little chickadee, I'd like to uh, mention that there are several species of chickadees in Northern America from the uh, black-capped chickadee, the chestnut-backed, and boreal chickadees. Chickadees are one of my favorite backyard birds, and the one I'm demonstrating today in pastel uh, may be the chestnut-backed chickadee. I am using a UART sanded paper for this project. Uh, I like this uh, pastel paper because it has a sandy uh, texture, a very fine texture that holds a lot of layers of pastel colors. I began by blocking in some black pastel using a medium firm pastel stick. Then I blended the color into the paper and created a base that I can now use my pastel pencils to create some detail and texture to the, the feathered areas of the bird. I'm trying to create some of that chestnut color into his head feathers. I'll continue to add some of the feather details and draw the rest of the bird's body before I uh, complete all the feathers and details in the bird. Once I have outlined the entire body of the little chickadee, then I'll be able to move on to the background of this painting before I actually finish all the final details of the bird's feathers. Now that I've outlined the bird and outlined the pine branches, I can work on the background. I'll start with a very light green for my base layer in the background, and then I'll gradually blend some darker shades of blue to build up the texture. It's important that I have most of the background complete before I finish the uh, fine feathers around the bird's body. Most of the small feathers extend out into the background, so I have to um, complete the background before I do this. The lighter value around the bird is really beginning to give the picture some good dimension. I'm going to start developing the branch in the background. This blurry branch in the background really brings some interest to the painting. Once I've added sufficient color uh, to this branch, I'll be able to blend it very smoothly into the background. 
then I will refine the color some more, give it a, a little more definition, and then I will blend it again. Branch is in clear focus, so I want to follow my reference photo very closely here. I'll start by defining the bird's legs and foot first before I start developing the pine needles that overlap his uh, feet. The light and dark shadows really create a lot of dimension to the painting. I also have to pay close attention to where the sunlight is being cast on the pine branch. Now that the foreground branch is done, I will start adding the fine feather details to the bird. I will use my white pastel pencil to bring out the whitest whites on the top layer. He has several white small feathers popping out and this will bring some fullness to his feathers. I will continue to add some shadowed areas to the overlapping feathers in his body and then add some more highlights using light gray and white for the final layers. So here I will finish the bird's wing 
and then add some final color to the background to complete this painting. I hope you have enjoyed this demonstration. If you have, please press like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.